Hi, I'm Sid, and I'm going to be showing you how to solve a circuits problem using mesh current analysis. So here we've got the circuit. As you can see, it has a, a couple of uh, independent current and voltage sources, as well as a dependent current source. So I'm going to be showing you how to find the currents in each of these meshes, and then from there, we could find we, we have enough information to solve the entire circuit. And each of the currents in each of these meshes, we're going to have to use KVL. Um, and since we have a, an independent current source between these two meshes and a dependent current source between these two meshes, we're going to have to write one big super mesh equation for the entire loop. So let's start with that. So we're going to be using KVL. And starting from the lower left-hand corner and working counterclockwise, or sorry, clockwise, we're going to subtract 50 volts. And then we will add 2I1. Oh, and this is in terms of volts, kiloohms, and milliamps. So add 2I1 or down here, plus 4I2, plus 6I3, plus 20 volts. So I just uh, rewrote the equation down here so that it's easier to, it's a, a bit cleaner. So that's equation number one. Then what we're going to have to do is write two equations for each of these branches. So for the first branch between I1 and I2, we can see that um, the current I2 will be going in the direction of the independent current source, and the current I1 is going in the opposite direction of the independent current source. So what we end up with is we have I2 minus I1 equals 4 milliamps. And then for this branch right here, I2 is going once again in the direction of the dependent current source, and I3 is going counter that. And we know that the current source has a value of 4I1. So we can write that branch current as I2 minus I3 equals 4I1. So those are our three equations, and we have three unknowns, so we can start solving. And then um, there's multiple ways to solve this system of equations. The one uh, I chose was to put it into the matrix equation, <coughs> which has the form A times where A and B are matrices, and X is a vector. In this case, it's a vector of your um, currents. Then multiplying both sides by the inverse of A will yield X. And in this case, solving for I1, I2, and I3, we should get um, 0.833.
um, 4.833 and 1.5. And those are all milliamps. Oops, I got cut off. Milliamps. Thank you.